It's a long unpublished poem by William Wordsworth. Um, uh, it's about it's about a man who um, uh, gets caught on Salisbury Plain. Uh, Salisbury Plain is a great flat area of land in Wiltshire, in southern England. So it's where Stonehenge is basically, yes. and it's and it's the site of. Um, well, today, then, there's a lot of military operations take place on Salisbury Plain. There are military bases. They do tank tank uh, exercises and stuff. But there are lots of ancient, there are lots of Neolithic sites, uh, henges, uh, burials, mounds, all this kind of stuff. Um, and basically, the poem is about this traveller in the 18th century, 19th century, who is walking on Salisbury Plain at night, and he... Um, uh basically ends up sort of having a kind of supernatural vision uh of of sort of uh at one of the henges at a kind of neolithic monument and he sees all sorts of um strange things and um that's it basically but it's like a i don't know how many verses it is i mean it's something like almost 15, 70 maybe. yeah so yeah so, so it's a it's a long poem it was unreleased in Wordsworth's life but it's a it's a great it's a great poem and I um I quoted the first two verses in the eggs benedict option my book um because the first the first two verses um are basically about what life is like for savage man before the dawn of agriculture and civilization and uh I was talking about the dawn of agriculture in uh, the eggs benedict option it's the central part of uh, the book the agricultural revolution the effects of the agricultural revolution whether it was a good thing or a bad thing um and so i thought well actually this the first two verses really kind of sum up the the agriculturalists prejudice against um hunter gatherers and mm. uh which is pretty cool so i will i will recite them from memory oh um, damn <clears throat> here we yeah, go yeah 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 here we go <clears throat> hard is the life when naked and unhoused and wasted by the long day's fruitless pains the hungry savage mid deep forests roused by storms lies down at night on unknown plains and lifts his head in fear while famished trains of boars along the crashing forests prowl and heard in darkness as the rushing rains put out his watch fire bears contending growl and round his fenceless bed, gaunt wolves in armies howl. Yet is he strong to suffer, and his mind encounters all his evils unsubdued. For happier days since at the breast he pined he never knew, and when by foes pursued with life he scarce has reached the fortress rude, or with the war songs peal the valleys shake. What in those wild assemblies has he viewed? But men who all of his hard lot partake, repose in the same fear, to the same toil awake. So that's yeah, that's the first two. First Beautiful two verses. man, by one of uh, England's great romantic poets. Yeah, I was, I was, I went through a very, very long um, romantic poetry phase. Uh, I mean, my favourites, some of my favourites, Wordsworth, uh, the Prelude uh is a great long another great long poem that's his biographical poem that he wrote about his childhood in in the lake district and he goes up to cambridge to st john's uh he goes over to france during the french revolution yes. uh and then he has comes a baby back. there he does yeah yeah has the uh and that's all veiled in allegory uh his experience with that um so yeah wordsworth was a big influence blake i love blake absolutely yes, love course. blake uh wordsworth blake and uh a distant third would be coleridge and then uh keats some of keats i like endymion is great uh ode to a ode to a grecian urn uh not so keen on byron and not so keen on shelley either so okay. it's really it's like wordsworth blake mainly am i am i big too but i've read so much of their stuff used to go back to it time and time again <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.